<clears throat> bang bang guapo gang back with another video man today's video is why should you care about your physical attraction now um i was scrolling through my computer getting rid of some old documents and i found a really interesting homework i did in social psychology my freshman year of college and it, it's based about attraction and why you should care about your physical attraction and it's all about the halo effect now Let's start off with the first story. Jeremy, we're starting off with Jeremy Meeks. I'm gonna put a photo of him right here. You've probably seen him a million times. He's all over social media. Uh, he was a former member of the Crips and was he was a former Crip and was a convicted cell. And oh, I can't speak today. He was a former Crip and convicted felon. Uh, he's been in and out of jail for years for robbery, corporal injury to a 16 year old child, grand theft, possession of firearms, and. In 2014, his this was this is where the internet blew up over him and things just got crazy. His arrest in 2014, his mugshot went viral. This is his mugshot. That mugshot went viral. And while he was in jail, he was being he was literally receiving e um, letters from modeling companies for multi million dollar contracts. And by the time he was out, he was already famous. He signed a contract with White Cross Management and he's still trending. Even today, this happened five, six years ago. He's still trending today. And he's a convicted felon, all this stuff. And he has millions of followers on Instagram. He's just, why is this? Uh, basically, it's the halo effect. And the halo effect is making judgments about someone's character or personality based off of your overall first impression of the person, AKA their physical appearance. And this guy has multiple chargers. He was a gang member. And you would believe that if you just read him off of paper and you didn't see his appearance, you would believe he would never have a chance to be successful in life. And here he is. He's trending and what not only trending, but likable figure. If you watch some interviews on him, he's always on TV shows on interviews and he's a really likable guy. Um, and because of the halo effect, millions of people look back on the horrible things that he's done. <laughs> and this just goes to show that people's brains automatically make judgments about people based off of their physical attractiveness. And don't, don't get discouraged here. Um, there's so many ways to increase your physical attractiveness. And if you want, I can make an in-depth video on increasing your physical attractiveness. And I also have a couple videos on it um, on my YouTube channel right now. I have a video of comparing my face when I was fat versus lean. The results are crazy. And I just have a ton of videos about it. Uh, whitening your teeth, just little stuff. But I'll go, I'll, I could make an in-depth video of increasing physical attractiveness. If you wanna see it, just comment down below. And I have another story. So this one is actually from a study and there's two groups of participants in the study. One group was given an authentic photo of a woman. The other group was given a photo of the same woman, but they photoshopped her to be overweight in the photo. Um, and, they, and, and it says that they also stuffed padding under her shirt. The group with the authentic photo asked, was asked to write about the woman and to give a description of what they believed her personality, her personality to be like. And the group, with the woman that was in shape, physical attractive. They described her as charming, lovely, and successful in her career. They thought she was a great person to be friends with. They would love to meet her in person. And then the group with the same lady, but photoshopped to give her a little different features and make her overweight. They described her as, seems like she might be a nice person, but probably not be friends with her and they rated her salary to be below average. And basically the overweight woman just didn't receive nearly as many positive descriptions. So this should be motivation. Don't, don't get discouraged by this. This should be motivation to improve yourselves and to get in shape, get lean, all that good stuff. And one, one last thing I wanna go over and I also wrote this in my homework is although the halo effect is in our everyday lives and has an impact on our first impressions, it does not mean that we are unable to become successful or receive opportunities. 
Yes, being attractive to certain people can have its benefits and initially help, but it's not a make or break with job opportunities, grades, etc. To conclude, yes, attraction does matter, but it's not a game changer in most everyday life situations. So that's how I want to conclude the video. Um, I thought that was a very interesting two studies. Well, it was one study and the other one was a story of Jeremy Meeks. And um, again, that's just my homework from social psychology freshman year of college. And I thought it was really interesting. So definitely not deleting this. So I was just running out of space on my laptop. Yeah, that's all for today's video. Guys, get in the gym, get lean, eat healthy, do all that good stuff. Get a good hairstyle that fits your face. Do all that good stuff and watch the halo effects start affecting your life. So um, that's all for today's video. Bang, bang, guapo out.